Hey, it's Gabe with Vitev. And what I have out here with me today is our Remit, what we call our Remit. It's a remineralization cartridge. This is for those of you that have a reverse osmosis system already installed in your place. Uh, you've got the clean aspect of the water taken care of because RO systems are great for cleaning the water, take out a really, really high level of tons of contaminants. It's really the best thing that a family or uh, an individual could use in their home to have really good, clean, pure water. But the problem with RO systems is they strip everything out. It takes all the good minerals out as well. And so what you have to do is build the water back up after you clean it. And that's what this baby's for. So what this does, this, there's no cleaning uh, media in here at all. There's no filtration media. This is all our mineral mix. Uh, there's calcium, there's magnesium, there's some potassium, ceramics, all sorts of stuff in this cartridge to build the water back up. And each has a specific use as well. Okay, so the way this works, there's kind of two types of RO systems. There's a type of RO systems that you can install this on the front side of the tank, meaning right after the membrane. If you can't do that, you have to go on the back side of the tank right before the faucet. And so I'll walk you through both of those setups. And if you need an installation diagram, uh, there's one of those linked on our website as well that'll give you a picture that you can look at while I'm describing this or after I describe it for you, all right? Okay, so notice first of all, there's a, a sticker on the front, that, there's an arrow on there as well that just shows you the flow direction. This is the way the water needs to flow through, from this side, out that side, okay? You're also going to get a couple of clips. I'm going to show you these now so I can set them down. This is a two, you know, a double clip. And this is for those of you that have an RO system that may have some horizontal things on top. Usually the membrane sits up there on those styles. And so what this does is snap on the top of the membrane, just like that, and then you can snap this in place as well and it holds it hard mounted up there. Or if you don't have this style, then what you can use is this one that we'll send as well. This is just a single clip. This is for, there's a hole on the side, you screw this into the side of your cabinet and mount that on there as well. And then you can send the water through here, out the end and up to the faucet. Both up out of the way, they won't cause any problems that way. We want this to lay horizontally no matter how you put it in. So that's important to know as well, all right? And then the last thing, on the end you'll see these connections. There's one on each end. These are hard mounted inside compression fittings. All you'll need to do is cut the tube, whatever length you need, and we'll send you some more tube with these as well so you can make the lengths fit as needed. Um, but you'll just cut the end, splicing it in basically. Plug one in, plug one in here, push it in hard, and it will come back out. And you'll know you had a good tight fitting that way as well. All right. Okay, so if you have the style, kind of the older style, or the style with a lot of different horizontal fittings on top, uh, or cartridges on top, what you want to look for is the membrane. And find the line that runs from the membrane to the tank. That's where you'd like to stick this in. Natural alkaline, or natural alkaline processes need some time with the minerals to work really, really well. So if we can slow the water down and let it just seep through here, it gets a lot of contact time with our mineral mix. That contact time translates into potency of water. Okay, it works very, very well that way. So try to put it before the tank. If that doesn't work for you, if you just don't have access to the tubes in that location, then you're going to put it post-tank. You'll see most systems have one line that goes to the tank. It's a two-way street. Water goes to the tank and back from the tank on the same line. You don't want to put it in that line because we want the water running through this in one direction. It's set up in a certain, um, uh, certain order so that we make sure we get the right benefits at the right time. Um, so you don't want to go this way and then back that way as well. What you want to look for is the line that heads up to your faucet. And that's the line you'll tie this into. Um, so the water is going to go to the tank, come back from the tank to the main system. There's usually a junction, a T, or something at that point that then sends the water up vertically. Take the vertical tube and pop this in place that way. And then you may have to add a little extra tubing as well to get it to fit into the side and lay horizontal. But that's it. It's a very simple installation with this. A um, couple words of caution. If you go post-tank, um, this does create some air in the line. You'll see that. It's, a, it's the hydrogen that's getting saturated into your water and that will bubble out. So especially when it's brand new, it's pretty potent right out of the box if you will and you'll get a lot of that first thing in the morning or after it's set for a while and hasn't been used. So ease into the faucet, let that air blow off first and then fill your, your glass up or your pitcher up, whatever. It's perfectly normal. It's going to happen. There's just no way around it. We need that reaction so we get the antioxidant benefits, so we get the pH benefits all of that stuff as well. Okay, uh, on the front side of the tank, you'll get it a little bit, but that tank also acts as a bit of a cushion and mitigates how much pressure we have built up. So, um, just those are the two biggest things people notice right away when they install this, other than taste and it drinks better and it feels better going down and I'm drinking more water. All of those things still apply, but the pressure thing, if you don't know about, can be a little bit of a surprise. Uh, and you don't want a wet t-shirt, you know, first thing in the morning on the way to work, all right? So, if you have any questions, you want us to look at your system specifically, just let us know. Send us an email, 
Uh, you can touch us on the chat as well, call us on the phone, whatever. Whatever works best for you, and we'll walk you through how this works into your system, okay? All right, have a good day.